This is PR Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. Markets rallied after falling sharply for three days. Is it a dead cat bounce or a trend reversal? So that's the question. Let us analyze. First, let us look at the larger picture. Globally, everything is looking good. US markets hitting fresh all time high on almost everyday basis. And we were also hitting all time high just few days before. So this fall was nothing to do with the global queues is just only purely the local queues. The SEBI's chairman's uh, comment about uh, manipulation in SME stocks, you know, and there are series of incidences. So that has happened. Now, what happened actually about one or two weeks before the SEBI directive came on mid cap and small cap stocks, then markets fell. The next day, complete recovery happened. Later another day, IAFL finance news came, markets fell but within the same day recovered. Another day, JM financial news came, markets fell on the same day completely recovered. Then the fourth time, the SEBI chairman's comment about manipulation in stocks, you know, this and that, you know, markets fell like anything for the last three days against the global trend. If you can remember today morning I said, you know, when this kind of bad news comes, within three days everything will be over. The fourth day markets will either stabilize or will start recovering. And that is what exactly has happened today. So, uh, therefore there is nothing wrong with our market. Now, one big question, uh, somewhere I read, okay, I don't know where I read, uh, but that is very, very important thing to share. As per that report, two years before, at what valuation mid cap index was trading? Today, it is exactly trading at the same valuation. In the last two years, mid cap index has shot up 67%, but in the last two years, mid cap index earnings per share has increased by 66%. So, when the earnings per share increases by 66%, it's very natural that the market will rally 66%, but it has rallied 67%. It's just only 1%. You know, that can be, you know, slightly here and there. You know, it's not like one is to one correlation. So, the report was questioning the SEBI on what parameters they said that the, there is a froth in the market. And this is the mid cap index, maybe mid cap uh, 50, top 50 mid cap stocks. Uh, same is the story about the small cap also, maybe plus or minus a little bit here and there. There may be some manipulations and fraud, you know, in the lower end of the spectrum. Okay. But if you look at the mid cap 50 or small cap 50, so there are like better qual quality stocks. So I don't think that there was anything wrong. So there will always be, you know, some stocks manipulation will be keep on going on everywhere, you know. So, you know, is it right on SEBI's part to, you know, panic the market like this rather than taking a specific action, right. So this is the report I've read. I don't know where I read that report. So, therefore, you know, in the past also, as and when the SEBI news came, you know, regulators news came, the markets fell, but uniformly recovered. And today, uh, today's recovery was really significant, I can say. And this is despite, uh, you know, a huge underperformance by banking stocks and financials. HDFC Bank and Indusind Bank, they both, you know, contributed maximum number of points on the downside. But despite that, Nifty has recovered almost half of its losses yesterday. Right. So, therefore, the question is this a dead cat bounce or a trend reversal? So, looks like a trend reverse. It may not be a dead cat bounce. So, the markets may continue to move higher. And technically, there are two important things. Number one, my box theory. And I've been telling you 22,000 to 22,500. So, this box. And just one day, 
just by two or three points, Nifty closed below 22,000 yesterday. And today, it has smartly recovered and now closed within the range of 22,000 to 22,500. So it has come back to the box. So what has happened yesterday, it has to be considered as an aberration, not a breakdown. If it's a breakdown, then it should have continued to fall. That's number one. Number two, I told you uh, as per a technical analysis which I'm following and 22,150 was the deciding factor. Once it crossed, Nifty became long and yesterday it broke that level. So because that was a very, very important level, once it was broken, the markets fell about 250 points. Now what happened? That the entire 250 point loss recovered and today Nifty exactly closed one point above 22,150. So today morning I told you Nifty is not long now. Also I told you it is not short also. But now just after one day of abrasion, now the Nifty closed above 22,150. Now, technically, Nifty is long once again. So, by looking at all these things, you know, uh, looks like, you know, this may not be a dead cat bounce, it may be a trend reverse. And of course, we may have to wait for one or two more days to get the confirmation. But another point, you know, there was no much selling by FIAs. When this kind of bad things comes, they are the first one to sell and run away. But today, FIAs have sold just for 1,350 1, crores. That kind of selling happens anytime. But the domestic institutions, they just bought only for 150 crore. So there was not even a support from the domestic institutions. But despite that, the markets recovered. And another key thing, if you watch, we two weeks already over in the month of March. We have only nine more, 10 more trading sessions, two weeks, but one public holiday. So we have only nine more trading session, but Nifty future is trading at more than 100 point premium. So it, in the first two weeks it may happen, but in the last two weeks it is happening is very, very surprising. So that shows that, you know, the short covering is on. Even the bank Nifty future is also, I think it's more than 200 point premium. So the short covering is on. So, you know, once the short covering is over, the Nifty future premium will come down. The way Nifty future premium is trading, I don't think that the short covering is over. You know, like people, you know, those who have sold yesterday morning, they may be sitting with the profit still, right? So therefore, further short covering can take the markets higher. So this is the analysis for today. Uh, anyway, we will see tomorrow uh, because right now the US futures, you know, uh, look higher only, uh, slightly, not very much. And uh, if everything goes well, so tomorrow we may start you know, uh, recovering more and more. So anyway, we will discuss tomorrow the remaining things. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.